usually starting with a brayer or roller to get um, a large mass of, of color on and then working into the smaller detail usually with a brush. And once I get the inks on the plate, then I use Q-tip or a piece of mat board or my fingers, whatever, to remove some of the um, ink, often to create a blade of grass or to, uh, um, water in the distance or a cloud, whatever. Um, and then I'm, I'm adding back and forth. So I'm adding more ink or I'm taking more away to finally create the image that I want. The um, printer usually takes it from there and um, it's placed on the bed of the um, plate. The paper is centered over it. Um, the blankets go down and it's rolled through this etching press. And often there are pieces that look wonderful and then go through the press and it's just a miss. You, you just tear it up. I have stacks that did not make it to the frame. You've got to go for it. If it doesn't work, you can tear it up. But, um, you know, there'll be other days. When I first started, I would do them with the ink and transfer it and they wouldn't all transfer the way I wanted to. So I would take watercolor or gouache or um, Caran d'Ache crayons, whatever, and try to add a little punch or a little color so that it would be what I wanted it to be. And then one day it just dawned on me that I didn't have to wait for a mistake, that I could just do this from the beginning and plan it. And from that day forward, all of them have watercolor.